Howdy folks, I want to talk to you a minute about playing the banjo and how to learn to play the banjo. I learned to play the banjo from books. I got Earl's book, Pete Seeger's book, and other books, and I learned to read a thing called tablature, and perhaps you've been trying to do the same thing. I've got a banjo instruction course which teaches the basics of how to play bluegrass banjo and it uses tablature and audio tracks so that you can hear what it's supposed to sound like. Now, maybe you've been using this and not having much luck and I want to tell you something. I've been teaching since 1982 and a lot of people that I've seen don't do very well from tablature. Some do very well, but it's a complicated step to insert paper in between the musical ideas in your instrument. And I've seen students, uh, one in particular, Kelly, if you're watching this, Kelly is probably in college by now, but Kelly was a kid taking banjo lessons from me. And we went through the course, you know, note by note, reading the tablature, play measure one, play measure two, and all that stuff. And he really wasn't doing that well. And finally I decided, one, one day he came in, I said, Kelly, just close the book. Just watch me and do what I do. And within a couple of weeks, he was playing. He was playing Cripple Creek, Boiling Cabbage Down, and a Little Maggie and other stuff. And it seemed like the tablature was sort of getting in his way. So maybe that's you. If you've tried to read tablature and had trouble with it, I have devised a, another way to get into this. What I've done is put together a series of video lessons that it's five videos and all together it's roughly two hours in length and there's no paper there's no tablature there's no music notation there's no chord charts it's just me and you and our banjos and I show you how to do it I show you how to tune I show you how to form some basic chords I show you how to put the picks on I show you how to play basic rhythms like the thumb pitch, and I show you some, uh, I think there are two roles that we use in, in that series, and you'll learn the in and out roll, and you'll learn the forward backward roll. all together little piece by piece and it's all going to be memorization it's really how people used to learn to play back in the old days before uh, written tablature so I think it's a valid way to learn how to play and if you'll take a look at the videos try them out if you're having any trouble at the end of this thing you're going to be able to play boiling cabbage down and you're going to be able to play cripple creek and you're not going to have any anything standing in between you and the song, you know, paper, it getting in the way. Because I've seen a lot of students sit there, they're looking over here at the paper and they're, look, they're going back and forth, back and forth, and it's just sort of getting in the way. So sometimes it's better just to do this monkey see, monkey do thing. So if you're having any trouble playing, try out these videos and see if they work for you. Now near the end of the video, I show the tablature for what you've been learning. And in fact, with the course, you'll get all the tablature, but I've got a big warning on it. Don't open this. Only when you've learned to play it, then look at the tablature. So anyway, it's a way of sort of working your way into learning to read tablature as well. So anyway, I hope this helps and check out. I've got a couple little preview videos. Scope it out and maybe this will be the thing that helps you play. Anyway, take it easy, and I'll see you later.